channel update. With a dash of real life and an animation teaser in there somewhere. Yeah. Let's do it! Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel with me, Chunchasku, your favorite Kara, your favorite Broly, all of the good intro stuffs and things. 2023 is at an end and 2024 is just kicking off. So I wanted to touch base with you all about what's been going on and what the plans are going forward, as well as get y'all's input on a couple of things. Maybe a little bit of a update on myself as well. It's been, I think, never since I've really done that, so. <laughs> Most of this will be just a lighthearted introspective of both this last year and this upcoming year, if I can even use that. Is introspective too big of a word? Did I use that correctly? Anywho, distractions. <laughs> as I was saying, while most of this will be light, uh, fairly light anyway, there will be a little bit of heavier stuff towards the end. So I just hope you'll all bear with me. But we'll get to that. In any case, it's been quite a long time since we've had an update or a celebration of sorts on the channel. In fact, it's been years. We had the birthday cameo video a couple years ago where I got to get some props from some of my heroes. Hey there, Chun. The voice of bro. And uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday, man. I got a channel, checked it out. I checked out Chun Chasku. Checked out VR Tail <laughs> Season 1, okay? All the sword swings hit on the drum beat. Mmm. Chef's kiss. Oh! Chef's he noticed the noticed. timing editing! Yeah. wasn't really an update per se, but y'all got to see me geek out over my heroes a little bit, and uh, I got to open up about some of the things that were, you know, kind of bothering me at the time and get some uh, good advice from the people that I looked up to. And they really inspired me to keep up the grind when the f fucking going got tough, man. Like, they put a real big freaking pump in my step. They really did. Of course, there was the Hellfire Noodle Challenge that we had when the channel reached 500 videos. Sick. 670 k scoble. Hellfire, fear this hot sauce. Now going right into the ramen. Oh my god. That is super fucking spicy. We have over double that amount of videos now. It's been a good three and a half, four years, I think. And getting to go on to the channel in cosplay, doing some very unorthodox stuff was actually a lot of fun. We also had the big celebration for 25K subs, where I made a Smash Bros spoof of a bunch of my different friends to really thank them for helping to push me forward and help me make stuff for all of you. Chopping in many pieces, call it a fucking pizza roll, huh? I can't totally pizza roll like Totina. Look, we can do it together, all right? Trust me. You ready? I'm ready. Get over here! Of course. Greetings, travelers. What you buying? It was quite a big milestone back then, and I was absolutely thrilled to be able to hit it. These were all very memorable indeed, and they'll be on the channel for you guys if you want to look them up for yourself. In any case, it's high time I touched base with you all again. This time is also a celebration, as we've hit our highest milestones yet this year. Almost across the board. We've reached over 5 million views across all of our shorts and videos, breaking the 3.5 million high back when the channel was actually popping off and getting views all over the place. Longer form VR chat videos and that kind of thing. And while I was shooting to try to make it to 100,000 by the time the year ended, making 11,000 subs this year comparatively to the last two years is absolutely mind-blowing. We also got one of our videos finally over a million views. Truly, we have a lot to be thankful for. But instead of doing something flashy and 
all crazy like I have the previous few milestones and such. I want to focus on updates in the future of the channel for this video, as well as maybe open up to you guys a little as I had mentioned and really try to let you guys know what my thought process is for things moving forward. Maybe get you all to help me shape the future of the channel as well if we can. First off, let's cover this past year a little more in depth than just the numbers I showed you a minute ago. As most of you know, we started shorts this year and we began doing comic dubs just a little before the year began. While a little bit of a change in my content style, a drastic change to be fair, the dubs were meant to be a way for me to try to stay consistent in getting daily or almost daily videos out to you guys, as well as potentially bringing in more fans of both Undertale and Dragon Ball to try to help the channel kick off and start, you know, doing well again. I had plans to implement non-comic dub shorts, and I got a couple of those in, but I didn't really have the time this year alongside of everything else I was trying to implement to really uh, dive into skits and the like. Although we did definitely have a couple ones. The Grimace Shake one, a couple uh, ones I did with my friend Immortal Outcast. I'm hoping to do a hell of a lot more of those in the coming year. VR chat videos, however, while they did still come out, were much slower than most of y'all are probably comfortable with. RP videos especially were basically non-existent this year. I'll touch more on the reasons for both of those a little later on. We at least got some teasers, huh? tried to add in some intrigue and like keep you all a little interested as we went throughout the year and I was putting out VR chat videos. But man, I really need to start delivering on some of those teasers and secrets, huh? It will be done, damn it! We did get a couple of cool Songify videos out at the very least. One that showed the return to FNAF and FNIA from the previous arc about a year and a half ago. And the other one was made from the epic crossover of both VR Tale and Omniverse that happened at the end of last year. That Songify video as well as that huge crossover are two of the best and most proud things I have on this channel. So if you haven't seen them, go give them a look, dang it. We also got a good bunch of reacts and gameplays out. The gameplay videos for both Broly and Kara, while they don't get very many views, they're a lot of fun to both do and edit and then also put out for you guys. If you haven't seen them, go give them a look. They were coming back in a big way. And the React videos, similar to the comic dubs, were mostly just to try to bring in new people. Reacts were a bit absent from the channel for the longest time because, honestly, I was a bit at war with whether or not I wanted to do them. I wanted to make sure I could come up with ways to ensure or almost ensure that the people watching my reactions would still go over to the original video and check it out. I usually cut out a portion of the video, at the very least, along with some other stuff I'm trying to implement this upcoming year. In fact, I may just decide to cut down the reaction footage to about half of what's in the original video to make it even more of a push to get you guys to go over there and then maybe focus in on adding in some extra editing or some like specific like character reacting moments and then doing something or like acting out a short skit or something like that in relation to what's going on i'm tossing around a few ideas we'll kind of see what i come up with as the year goes on and lastly we came out with the big broly band music video that i've been tossing the idea around in my head for about four years, five years almost. I guess you could call this an RP video in a sense because there is a battle between VR Tail Kara and Dante, Nero, and Virgil in this, mixed in with all of the other MTV music video-esque and gameplay cuts and stuff like that that exists. But is it canon though? Yeah, it's totally canon. 
can. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anywho, that video was a lot of fun to make, but it doesn't have very many views just yet. So get over there and watch it! Let me know what you like about it. Let me know if y'all would like to see any other songs done by Broly and the Bros. I'm thinking of maybe Otherworld from Final Fantasy X. And maybe also Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure. Yeah, ooh, you never know, man. Could be really good. If you guys have any other ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Alrighty, now for what the plan is this coming year. I definitely plan to keep up the comic dubs for sure, as those pushed the channel quite a lot this last year. Though you may see more IPs come into the comic dubs instead of just Dragon Ball and Undertale. I'm looking at a couple of other IPs and genres that I can do voices for, and maybe bring in some fans of those series and things. So we'll see how that goes. I'm also looking at a couple of ways to raise the quality of the dubs as well. I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to keep up the daily slash multiple uploads per day kind of schedule going as we go forward, but I'm going to do my very best. <laughs> I'll be looking at doing a lot more long form type comic dubs as well going forward and then kind of breaking them up into smaller ones and putting those out also. Honestly, whether I'm able to upload multiple times a day or not every day this year, it will be a close one. My goal is to put out so much content that people can't help but notice. <laughs> that being said, I would want to make sure that the vast majority, if not all of what I'm putting out is good quality as well. So. I got my work cut out for me, that's for sure. You'll be able to look forward to, at the very least, like a comic dub and some other long form video every day, or a comic dub every day and a long form video at least every other day, if not more videos than that. I'll try to have a actual schedule set in place, set in stone, so you guys know when to expect reactions, best ofs, videos, VR chat videos, RP stuff, etc. But it'll probably be until about February, maybe March at the latest, before I'm able to actually solidly implement to schedule so I have the time to kind of get the ball rolling and make sure that I'm able to be consistent in whatever schedule it is I choose to pursue this year. You can definitely count on more reactions from Broly and Kara and probably some other characters too. Maybe some that haven't appeared before in reactions. We'll have to see what happens. Oh no, Chitty! Don't put me in a reaction video! You scale kill me! God, I can only imagine. <laughs> Gameplay episodes will continue and hopefully we'll come back in a much bigger way this year. I would like to have several uh, playlists of game series that I actually have finished, <laughs> not just started and stopped because I felt they weren't doing well or something. Big particular games I have in mind at the moment are Kakarot, Fighter Z, Resident Evil 4 Remake, of course, and maybe a couple others for Broly, Deltarune, Security Breach, Inscription, Sea of Salt, and other villain-like minded games for Kara. Gonna have to do some research and see how many games there are where you get to play as the villain. I know there's like a whole sub, it's like a subgenre of its own, so we'll find a whole collection. Uh, if you have any ideas, obviously, let me know. And of course, I've been tossing around some ideas about doing some lewd games with Oolong, like Hoonie Pop, Crush Crush, and a couple others. And then of course, I would love to return to his doing Cuphead, as well as the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite story. And I don't really plan on bringing Oolong into the channel as like a mainstay like he used to be, but it'd really be nice to get some use out of him like I used to. Let me know if that's something that you guys have interest in whatsoever. I wanna use more Kuubara and Kefka this year. I'm gonna find ways to do it. Just keep your eyes peeled for where and how. RP videos likely, but also maybe some just fun stuff. We'll see what happens. I might find the courage to play some games myself without doing character acting and stuff like that, but we'll see what happens. Likely you'll have to come over to my Twitch live streams for that. Link to those always in the description of any video you'll come across. I'm looking forward to maybe playing through some more Final Fantasy VII Remake, perhaps getting you guys the rest of my playthrough of that game as well, and then playing the new installment of that coming out early this year, as well as maybe finishing playing through Final Fantasy XV and a whole bunch of other games. I've been getting back to speedrunning and such on Twitch, and I'm starting to very slowly get my Twitch schedule back under control. So if you want to see me the flesh more often, you guys know where to go. We should also be getting back to RP videos this year, meaning VR Tale and Omniverse, as well as some other projects I have had in the wings and haven't really shown much of yet. Totally not making a paranormal-based cyberpunk series that's totally my own story or anything. Totally not. Don't 
worry about it. VR Tail, at the very least, will make a big return this year. In fact, you will be able to see new VR Tail episodes within the first week of the year. And with any luck, Into the Omniverse will be joining the fray at any point in the next few months. Still sitting on a good handful of videos for Omniverse without needing to actually record more content yet, so we'll see what I can get for you guys. But again, VR Tail will be returning within the first week of the year. Look forward to episodes coming out and the story picking back up, as well as the return of Halloween Kara. How is he returned? How is he back after he got sealed permanently by Curry the previous year? You'll just have to come on to see the arc and find out. Aside from all that, I've been working here and there to get some stuff made for a video game or two for you guys. What? Video game? This is out of left field. Yes, well, that might indeed be the case. Some of you may not know this, but Chun actually went to college for game design. Didn't quite get to finish my degree, but I have some skill in it nonetheless. These games would take place within the VR tale and Omniverse universes and storylines. One that I'm working on is a clicker kind of a game, kind of similar to like Cookie Clicker or Adventure Capitalist or something of the like. And another I'm working on is a game kind of similar to Vampire Survivors or Hollow Cure for some of you who have played that one. I've been coming up with stuff for these and beginning commission stuff for them slowly over the past couple of years to try to get them into some sort of a feasible state and get them put together. With any luck, at least one of those two should be able to release by the end of the year this year. Hopefully both of them, but that might be wishful thinking just a little bit too much. Aside from that, I plan, of course, to get back to doing regular live streams every Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. PST or some other time slot if I feel I need to rework the time schedule a little bit. I'm going to try to keep pumping out TikTok videos as well as spread on to other social platforms if I can. And I would love to have the return of our regular Fan Friday hangouts. Perhaps a really, really big one the first Friday of every month. And then every subsequent Friday, we could just like meet in public and just kind of chat, talk and hang out and stuff like that. Regardless, unless something drastically bad happens to prevent me from getting into the game and having access or something of the sort, I'm going to do my very best every single Friday this year between 5 and 6 p.m. PST to hop into VR chat in public in uh, Snowden, whether that's Snowden HD, uh, one of the new Snowden maps that's popped up, whatever. It, it would be a quest map. It would be public. So any one of you could come and find me and talk to me. We, of course, are, as always, looking for new people to bring into both VR Tale and Omniverse. So if you come to a hangout and we hit it off and you show me you've got some skill, nothing saying that you can't come on in and help out with either of the series. Down in the description of the video, you'll find a link to my Discord. If you want to keep up to date on exactly everything that I'm doing, I'll do my very best to keep everybody updated through Discord first and then other sources later. Finally, coming later this year, probably Q3, Q4, a large scale VR tail project will be releasing. I promise. <laughs> Some of you who have actually been helping me make stuff for what I'm talking about here in a minute are probably tired of waiting, <laughs> and I completely understand that. <laughs> in any case, some of you have heard of VR Tale Escape. For those of you who haven't, or this is the first time you've heard me mention it, VR Tale Escape is going to be an experience similar to what you would expect from videos like In Space with Markiplier or a heist with Markiplier, both Markiplier videos I know. In any case, the idea here is that you will watch the initial video, VR Tail Escape, and then at the end of the video, you'll be presented with a choice. And then you, as a viewer, get to make the choice for the main character. Spoiler alert, it's Frisk. <laughs> anyway, based on the choices that you make, it will take you to one direction or another. You repeat this process until you've experienced the entirety of the episode, and this of course results in multiple endings. Quite an undertaking to be sure, but with good diligence from both myself and the cast, I'm sure we can come up with something quite amazing for you guys. Anyway, as I said, look forward to it Q3, probably Q4 of this year. As much as I would like to work really hard and get it released sooner, with a project this big and of this kind of structure, I want to make sure I get it right. I want to make sure you guys not only have a reason to enjoy it the ones through, but intrigue you enough that you want to go back and see some of the other branches. That being said, I have a treat for you all. Here right now is a short clip of the epic finale fight between Frisk and Kara for VR Tail Escape. Enjoy.
Ooh, man. Pretty crazy stuff, huh? I never thought VRTEL would get animated, let alone have something of this caliber. So I am absolutely blown away by how this looks, and I cannot wait to show it to you guys in its full form when Escape comes out later this year. You may want to make sure to keep an eye on any VR chat videos, as I will continue to try to hide things in them if I can. Most of these hidden secrets will relate to either VR Tale Escape or the future of VR Tale episodes or other RP things to come, so don't miss them. And you may even see some small secrets leaked in the middle of gameplay episodes, in React episodes. Nothing that you'll absolutely have to see in order to understand what happens within VR Taylor Omniverse, but definitely little teasers and looks at things to come and little hints at things that might be going on. In any case, now for the heavy stuff. I don't want to get too much into this, but I just want to kind of overview some things and touch base with you guys about how I'm doing, how I feel about how things are going and the like. This isn't really something I've been too comfortable with doing in the past, but in an attempt to connect with you guys a little stronger and hopefully grow as a creator, I'm gonna try to kind of toe the line of letting you guys know what's going on with me without hopefully going too far. <sighs> Enough stalling, here we go. While we've broken some milestones and such, this has been a particularly tough year on Chun IRL trying to keep everything with the channel and some things with my life together. I have worked very diligently all year long to try to breathe life back into the channel and try to appease the algorithm and to try to get some momentum to hopefully return to the glory of the old days for lack of a better way to kind of put that. And while we definitely are seeing some results overall, breaking some records and such, the amount of work that I go through to make all this happen is very taxing. I've had to put aside a lot of hangouts and social events and things like that to try to keep myself on point with the stuff that I've been doing this year. And views improvement, though, again, overall, we absolutely smashed our overall number. It seems kind of hit and miss still for videos, whether they're going to get consistent decent views or not. Back a couple of years ago, I used to pull in tens of thousands of views per video. And to be quite honest and frank with you guys, I didn't work that hard on them as I didn't really have the skills or the resources to really put a bunch of effort into them. I did most of my editing myself, came up with most of my ideas myself, etc. And now it seems like I'm putting out a lot more videos, putting in a lot more work and it's with the exception of the occasional video that pops off and gets ridiculous views. Uh, it seems like the majority of the videos that I'm putting out still are not really improving that much overall in view count, which is tough to see. You know, I would hope that working a lot harder would kind of help with uh, views, not necessarily going back to where they were, you know, a couple years ago, but seeing, you know, some kind of substantial improvement as like a baseline uh, was kind of what I was aiming for. And it feels like I'm more like rolling the dice and getting lucky uh, here and there versus consistently like doing better view wise overall. Although it's probably tougher for me to see things that way because again the numbers speak for themselves we've smashed view records this year and we've done ridiculously well as a channel and i'm not trying to come off ungrateful or anything of the sort anytime you guys view any one of my videos and interact with it at all or even don't interact with it at all just give it a look is incredibly humbling and I'm very thankful and grateful for all of that. I just, I'm trying to figure out what sticks and what essentially you guys really want and what YouTube really wants from me. And to try to find a way to, I guess, balance that with the stuff that I want to do, the stuff that I want to pursue and um, the things that I personally want to put a lot of effort into and make. And of course, I know there's probably a handful of things that I could be doing to help make that even better than it is at the moment. Stuff like a consistent schedule, trying to ride trends as I've done in the past, reaching out to more people for collabs and trying to be consistent and setting stuff up with them, uh, possibly doing some research into what all of you guys watch when you're not on my channel, because that's a tool I guess I have access to. 
<laughs> among I'm sure a number of other things. But honestly, this is kind of a big reason why VR chat videos and RP videos as well have been very scarce this year. Making those takes a lot of time and effort, as I mentioned. And it's difficult to justify, you know, putting a couple hours into a VR chat video, let alone like 20 hours, 50 hours, or even more into like a big RP episode for VR Tale or Omniverse. And then that video has trouble clearing two or 3,000 views when I can spend about 30 minutes on a comic dub and there's a chance that that video will get 10, 50, 100K views. There's also the issue of I'm not sure if all these shorts are ruining my overall watch time and just not knowing if that's something that you guys want in general either. It's a tough kind of field to navigate. And while it doesn't stop me from putting in the time and the effort to try to make this stuff for you guys, it's certainly difficult to justify the time sink and the time spend comparatively to the comic dubs when the performance disparity is supposedly so big. Also, just so you guys are aware, we were supposed to have VR Tale Escape last year. However, in moving stuff around my PC and multiple hard drives and the like, I ended up deleting a folder that contained a large portion of what I had created for VR Tale Escape, including a big part of the script, the decision tree that I had made in order to try to keep track of what videos connected to which, and uh, other things that I'd rather not mention that want to keep as a surprise for when this actually does come out. On top of that, the finale animation was delayed for several months, so these are the reasons why VR Tailscape didn't make it this year. Hopefully this coming year will uh, go a lot smoother. <laughs> Aside from the channel itself, I've been struggling a little bit with my belief in the channel due to the lack of, due to the seeming, I guess I should say, lack of overall growth in uh, the videos normally, as well as myself as a creator and just not knowing exactly for sure what direction it is that I want to move in with the channel. Views aren't everything, and I've always mentioned this and said this uh, making stuff and when asked. However, you want to be able to see progress and you don't want it to feel like it's random, right? So I've been trying to figure out how to break out of that, not just the stuff itself, but the mindset as well. And it's, it's difficult. I really want to make great content for you guys that you enjoy watching and that you continue to come back for. God forbid something that maybe lifts you up you know, at the end of the day and teaches you a moral lesson like Drumsy's vids or, you know, gives you, you know, a, like a lot of really good feels like Lolathon or some of the other bigger VR chat peeps. And maybe I can find a way to incorporate that. But again, I want the channel to succeed while I'm doing it. And most of what I'm doing is feeling like shooting in the dark. And I'm sure that's due to just a lack of knowledge and not really being able to learn from anybody directly. Um, last thing I want to do is go bugging people to, to tutor me and stuff. You know, I don't want to seem like a mooch. I'm just having a really hard time figuring out what sticks and what doesn't and the steps that I should be taking and what I should specifically be focusing on and the like. If you guys could just give me feedback on the stuff that I put out, it would help immensely. I just want to know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what it is that you guys like, what it is that comes out that you guys aren't really a fan of, right? I want to know that I'm satisfying you guys and not just flying by the seat of my pants in some way, you know? It's also been pretty hard this year because I feel like my social circle has been dwindling down for, I guess, lack of a better way to put that. Like, older peeps still come around once in a while and I still do what I can to meet new people, but it feels pretty lonely most of the time. I've had people come into my life this year and I've, I've had people just leave my life as well. Reaching out to people has been very difficult and trying to set things up with people has been fairly difficult as well. I don't know. I don't, like I said just a bit ago, I don't want to be a bother to people and th things are just tough, man. <laughs> it's been really hard mentally, I mean, emotionally a bit as well, but I'm doing the best I can to sally forth to keep working, keep grinding, uh, keep smiling and making stuff and to carry on 
for the record, I do not blame anybody in particular at all whatsoever. Friendships, relationships take two people and sometimes paths diverge from each other. And I've got to assume that everybody has their reasons as I would have mine in similar situations, I'm sure. And again, I'm sure I'm part of the problem. My communication skills are lacking sometimes. And I don't know, I can just, I can definitely be a lot better at not only communicating with people, but trying to be persistent in that communication, I guess. I do certainly stay very busy with the channel and other things almost all the time. And as I said earlier, kind of have had to sacrifice some hangouts and some social get togethers and stuff like that in order to keep the grind up and to keep up the schedule and that kind of thing. I want the channel to grow, man. And me basically being like a one man crew behind the scenes really makes that require a lot of diligent work in order to pull off. That being said, I can definitely do a better job not only talking to people, but trying to go and be part of their stuff as well and not just try to get them to be part of mine, I guess. I just wish I didn't feel on the outside of a lot of the communities that I used to be a thriving part of. I never meant to put anybody off or ignore anybody or distance myself from anybody on purpose. Chun's been through some hard stuff these last couple of years and that's make keeping in contact with people very difficult. <laughs> but I can definitely do better and I'm going to do my best to try and rebuild some of those connections going forward. I can only hope that people will have me, I guess. <laughs> you know, looking back at the best of stuffs that I've been making and the other footage that I've been trying to go through and get out for you guys, I've come to miss a lot of the old peeps that used to come around to hang out and a lot of the new peeps as well, one in particular. But as I said, paths diverge sometimes. Life doesn't always go the way that we want. You have to be willing to get back up when you feel knocked down and keep moving forward. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Because as Rocky would say, that's, that's how, how winning, winning is, is done. done. Anyway, fucking god emotions suck, fuck! I'll stop with the heavy stuff there, as I don't want to scare y'all away, and I think that's more than enough. Y'all ain't my therapist, and y'all are here to be entertained. ARE YOU NOT ENTERTAINED?! Law. <laughs> I just thought maybe I should open up to you guys, like actually try opening up to you guys in ways that I've seen Markiplier and other people that I look up to do it in the hopes that maybe it brings us closer as creator and viewer and I can do better for y'all in a sense, I guess. Y'all know me as a funny guy, a big laugher, and maybe a little edgy and a little cringe sometimes, but you know what? I don't plan on changing that one bit. Just know that behind the characters, the voice, the stories, and stuff. I'm just a human. I make mistakes. I'm still learning and I'm still trying to figure out where the hell we're all going on this journey. I'm just a guy trying to do his best in a rough patch in life and try to continue forward motion so that we can succeed. Enjoy life <laughs> to a degree at least. Not every video is going to be a banger and that's okay. So long as I have all of you with me helping to shape the journey, it will be worth it in the long run. And as distraught as I am over some of this stuff, a sneaky feelings tell me our best year to come is still ahead of us. Anyway, if you guys could do me a huge favor, and if you know any other fans of this channel, please share this video with them so they know the deal and what to expect and what Chun's been going through. I want absolutely as much feedback as I can possibly get. Go watch your favorite video here on the channel and comment on it and let me know what exactly it was about the video that you liked so much, what grabbed you, what kept you watching, etc. And if you guys can do that for me, as videos come out as well, I'll do my very best to give you guys the very best videos that I possibly can. If you can as well, comment down below what the very first video that brought you here to the channel was. And same deal, why it grabbed you so much. What is it that you look forward to here on the channel the most? Are you here for the comic dubs? Are you here for the VR Tale and Omniverse series? Are you here for just anything? Or are you here for me? <laughs> Stupid.
In any case, look forward to bigger and better things this year. Looking forward to growing with you all in the future. Thank you all so very much for all of your support over the years, both old fans, new fans, returning fans, everybody. You guys pushed me to chase my stupid fucking dreams, and I'll never be able to thank you enough for that. Thank you for 80,000 subscribers, over a thousand videos, and so much more. Let's shoot for 100k this year, yeah guys? <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate you guys listening to me, and I appreciate y'all's time. This is the most chunny of Chaskus, signing out. I'll see you guys next time.